In this lesson, we are going to go and make a custom modeling layout specifically for direct modeling because the experience of modeling will be much more enjoyable. So that's why we are going to do this. I'm not going to do anything drastic. Mostly that I will do is just hide things that I don't need. And then we're just going to create three custom shelves so that you also know how to create shelves and basically tabs. Once you start modeling, you can actually do it yourself because this is my preference in the end. Uh, you have all, all the freedom to do it uh, as you see fit. For this tutorial is just me showing how I prefer to work. Let's start. So I will start with a shelf. First thing I will do, I will just hide this shelf or I would say uh, this is like a shelf set which then contains these tabs. This is also a second shelf set which contains well these tabs. To remove this shelf set you then go here. So you see this uh, this checkbox here you would basically to, to remove one shelf set you just uh, uncheck this and that's it now don't uncheck the second one let's because um, then you're gonna have uh, some issues now let's create a new shelf set okay now we can actually remove this one and that's it the next thing I will do I will just rename this shelf set and say modeling shelf uh, number one copy and then I rename it actually it sorry it should be vice versa modeling shelf numero uno and then modeling shelf number because name will be so that so that and the next thing you need to do is basically go under the tabs and choose which of the tabs you wanna have on this shelf and in my case my first shelf will have create you don't have to actually uh, hold anything you just click on any of this text and you will be able to to see the shelf if you wait if you press apply so i will use create and then model i will remove new shelf i don't need that the second one will be model and then the third one i put my side effects lab. great so now this is my first shelf set and then i will press apply and accept and that's it let's create second one new shelf set edit shelf set because i copied the previous text with my control and c i will do this for the shelf two i mean i will just paste it here and say number two and then under the tabs i will pick i will remove new shelf and i will pick a polygon tab the second one i use there is the formers so this is alphabetically so yeah I will use the former and then now I have the second shelf ready. So let's create the third one. Again, new shelf set. Let's edit this shelf set. Let's rename it to number three. And here, label it. And then under the tabs, here I'm using, let me just check, 
Modify texture and lighting camera. So let's disable this one and then modify texture. Where are you? Come on. Texture and then light and camera. That would be that would be it. If you want to create custom tab, what you need to do is you you basically just go under the okay sorry here, and then you can create it or let's see sorry here new shelf yeah you create new shelf and then under here you can name it and then choose your tools now this is the only thing I I really don't understand why is why there is no search option makes no sense because there is I don't know how many hundreds of these nodes which you can choose and you cannot filter it out so yeah that's kind of not good but if you want to create it you would basically do the same thing you rename here you just put a name of your shelf custom custom shelf or custom modeling shelf and then here same custom modeling shelf then under the tools you simply pick the tools and when you press apply you can see that those those tools are being added to the shelf but in my case i'm not gonna add anything here i will actually just leave this shelf tab that's me again but what i will do here i will edit a bit this side effects labs because there are tools that i'm using and i i will show you the then how this is done so what you would do again over over the um this tab right mouse button and then edit shelf tab now here you will have all these selected tools highlighted but i actually don't need those what i need what i use is basically zbrush for export and import so that would be under the goes i'll probably just speed up this process as it takes me time you if you can see that it's really pain in the butt to actually find your tools and why can't i find what i need okay i'm here I know, I know, I know the alphabet. So let's just quickly go under to these labs tools and see what do I need here. So labs out. Uh, by the way, to know which nodes are for surf, which nodes are for basically geometry or surface or anything considering surface, you you just read here and you will see um, it says labs sub. A surface operator if it's you see here like this is for cops so you would usually not use this for modeling so let's see how do you be uh, sure even though i already have it here so i'm not sure why is that so i'm not gonna add that axis align i will add it my radial menu box clip is very useful box cutter can also be useful Cable generator 2, dissolve flat edges. Also, it's worth to mention that um, side effects actually have the exodized quad measure node, which is very, very useful. Um, I think there is one or two tutorials about actually how this works in, in Houdini. So if you want to check it out, just uh, search in YouTube, exodized quad mesh in Houdini. James Baker making out your maps so here cause export import you can also use this one let's see you see there is more versions usually the highest version is the one you should use because it's the latest but 
we have a few maps bakers so i will just choose all and see what it works for me okay now that i have chosen my my tools i will press apply and this shelf will be updated now i will also remove some that i really don't need and in case you want to update your side effects labs tools you just press on this icon then choose the version here the release and then also you can choose would you use a production build only ready tools or or some that are maybe in beta alpha i don't know and then you would just uh, update and you, then when you next time start houdini you will have uh, new tools so i did that but yeah i'm not gonna restart my houdini right now the thing i will do is i will now move things i don't need so oops no delete just remove i don't need this what i'm doing i'm just removing things that doesn't really serve me for my modeling because have in mind that i just want to have things here to remind me what tools i have on my disposal when modeling most of the time i don't need these so i think that would be it now you can um reorder reorder all the icons so make them as you want so usually i would put the most used on on the left and those that i don't really use that often on the right like this icon so i don't need it to be here that would be it for the shelf then i will just reposition all of this make the window or the panes a bit smaller so it looks nice too Position this in the middle or somewhere in the middle as I like things to be in line or aligned and that would be it for for the custom shelf to actually reorder them you just click left mouse button on the tab and then just move it where you see it fit the left mouse button click hold move and that's it you will see this this black arrow which uh, fortunately seems that i don't think you will see it but there is a black arrow showing where will a uh, tab fit so okay the next thing i want to do is i'll just remove these because i don't really need them the next thing i will do i will now hide this thing which i really don't need uh, like i don't need these to be on three different places so to remove this element here you go here and then under the pane interface just uncheck this network controls and then you have removed it i will also uh, dock this element here so that i don't see the tab because you see how much room is here wasted so again here click pane interface and then make sure to uncheck pane tabs and then you get this so i will do this for all of these and what i like to do is under the parameters i like to put another pane which is then usually a network view and then here under the network view i would usually set my uh, not scene view but my parameter settings why well when i hide these uh, panes I will also hide that element this element and then here uh, I will leave network controls and just hide um, paint tabs and then just position it here like in the middle now why I why I added these two paints uh, which are basically the same 
is because there is a shortcut control tab that allows you to switch between panes whenever you hover over the user interface uh, of, of a network or basically any kind of display pane but here okay let's we need to also remove it from here and yeah so now we have very clean setup also then you can choose will your parameter settings will be here or or here or both what I am using is standard uh, Houdini setup because I didn't want to change it too much for the tutorials. But look at what I can also do because I you usually don't look at the node network. I'm using Alt and then let me show you from here. I don't know how you call it, but it's here. So to maximize vertically the pain, uh, you would use this shortcut on your keyboard which is very convenient if you want to just quickly maximize one of the panes like this or if you maximize one pane then you can use control tab to just change between the two tabs that you have on here as you can which is very very convenient before i end we will also oops remove uh, this one the play bar because we really don't need it and that would be pretty much it for creating a custom layout it's not that hard you can see that layout can be easy on the eyes without too many distractions too many elements being exposed and this is what i actually really like so now I have my custom layout and I can really enjoy when I'm modeling. But before we end this, uh, we will save this custom layout and under this um, menu here, just press left mouse button and then save current, de current desktop as, and I say it here with direct modeling and then you save it and that's it also before i end i will also make sure that my modeling radial menu is that here and also pinned to a current selection and then again i will make sure to save this desktop if you change something on your layout then instead of saving current desktop as which will prompt you to choose the name and then save it again uh, in this list if you don't want to that just make sure to to save current desktop like this and now to just quickly show you how you make sure that you are using this desktop any every time when when houdini when you open the houdini is basically going to houdini preferences under the general user interface then make sure to choose startup in desktop as your direct modeling build apply and accept and that would be it next time you, when you fire up your Houdini you will have this layout by default so guys that would be it for this tutorial hopefully you learned something uh, make sure to stay safe and see you guys in the next video